welcome back to my channel, The Diva Den. My name is Kelly. For those of you that are new here, welcome. I'm so excited you stopped by. Today I thought I would share with you what a typical Saturday morning cleaning routine looks like for me. Um, it's just my husband and I that live at the house now. Uh, the kids have moved out. I do work full time, but my husband just retired this year. So yes, I am lucky that he will help out during the week. But on Saturdays, I like to do my own thing and really get things cleaned up. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Just what I would typically do on a Saturday morning. So on Saturdays, I usually just concentrate on the main level of the house and that's just in case people stop by, you know, during the day or whatever. I just want it nice and fresh and clean and I'll start in the kitchen and work my way around. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to tidy up the dishes from our breakfast in the morning and any dishes that might have been left over at night and get those done and out of the sink and put away. So today I decided to wipe down my counters, my sink, my stovetop with my Lysol all-purpose disinfecting spray. It's just nice to get rid of some of those germs that might be lingering around from some of the spilt juices from food or food prep, you know, that sort of thing. So that's what I'm using today. And I am all out of my other um, nicer sprays. So this was in the house and uh, I've decided to try and use up what I have before I go buy anything new. Skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive. drive a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna now i'm going to pop in a load of laundry uh while i'm doing all the rest of the stuff i might as well get it started and i use uh a homemade laundry soap and I will leave a link to that video up above I did one last year I think and uh, I love it so I'll leave a link if you're interested in checking out what I use for my homemade laundry soap so now back to the kitchen I was super excited this week I found a e-cloth for stainless steel so I was really excited to try it and boy it lives up to its reputation it does a beautiful job I just loved it and then I finished off with the polishing cloth from e-cloth and then it's to head into my main floor into my uh, foyer my hallway and then into my living room to do some dusting and uh, cleaning up in there so that's what i'm going to do next but first i have to say <laughs> i'm so sorry for my attire in this video oh my gosh i just got up this day and didn't feel like dressing and these are my really old cleaning clothes so <laughs> excuse the way i look now I'm going to do this mirror. This mirror I recently painted gold. I'm in a gold mood these days. This used to be a bronze color and I am loving all the things I spray painted. And I will leave a link to some of the, the uh, projects I did around the house in case you're interested to see what I did. Like 
So here's another little project I did recently as I painted these two side tables that I have. They used to be a dark brown and I painted them this beautiful gray color and added the little knob on the front. And I will leave a link to that in case you're interested to see what I did there. But I'm loving the way they look and the way they brighten up the place. So I am trying this new glass and mirror cleaner. It is called Perfect Glass and it works like a dream. It really does do a beautiful job on all the mirrors and on all the glass. So um, it's a new product to me and I've only used it a few times but I'm really enjoying it. So now I'm heading back into the laundry room. I'm going to switch over the laundry and uh, hang up some shirts and take, th take them outside to dry. It's such a beautiful day and I absolutely love the smell of clothes that have been dried outside. What about you guys? Do you love that too? Oh, I don't think there's anything better. That's what I love about the summertime is everything can get outside to dry instead of in the dryer. I just love that smell. But if you leave um, your clothes outside to dry, let me know down below. You know, is this something that you do in your neck of the woods? Um, do you like leaving them out to dry? I just do shirts and pants, but oh, they smell so good. This is a great clothing rack, a drying rack for my clothes outside. I forget where I got it. I've had it for a number of years, but it's really quite sturdy and holds quite a bit. So I'm just going to let everything dry now.
that things are cleaned up, wiped down, and the laundry is outside drying, it's just time to get out my Dyson and give the floors and the rugs a quick vacuum. I won't do uh, a mopping of the floor during the day because we will be in and out quite a bit and I plan to do some gardening too. So I'll just give, the va give it a quick vacuum to pick up all the dust that I just disturbed around and uh, that should be it for me. One of my favorite attachments for my Dyson is the upholstery cleaner that allows me to really clean the ottoman and all my furniture. It's a great little tool. But that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed you'll think about hitting that red button below and maybe even think about giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time guys, I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye! I've been waiting for this. Yeah. Been up on my mind